this week. Sports fans in America will all be tuning in and watching as teams from 68 different schools come together and compete in the NCAA men's basketball tournament. Uh, competition that for the next three weeks as they all look to see who will be crowned the national championship champion in America this year. It, although it has not always been this big of an event, starting back in 1939 with just eight teams, the NCAA tournament has continued to grow and evolve over the years, becoming a now multi-million dollar business with, multi, with millions and millions of viewers each year. Because of the, this, it's also one of the most interesting and unique tournaments and ways and championships in all of sports. NCAA tournament is one of the biggest events of entertainment and sports in America and is deeply ingrained into the culture of all sports fans in America. I've been watching college basketball since from a very, very young age and have continued to grow in my interest and study and read into the history as I've gotten older. In this, I'll explain the early how the NCAA tournament looked in the early years and how it has continued to evolve and grow over the years. So, starting back in 1939, the NCAA first sponsored the men's basketball tournament, featuring just eight teams. Oregon, Ohio State, Texas, Oklahoma, Brown, Villanova, Wake Forest, and Utah State. This culminated with Oregon knocking off Ohio State 46-33 to become the first champions of the NCAA tournament. From there, it has continued to grow, and that is the first point of popul as popularity started to spike among college basketball in America. From then, the 18 tournament doubled after 12 years in 1951 to become a 16 team tournament and then in 75 became a 32 and then doubled again in 1985 to become um, a 64 team tournament before adding four more teams in 2011 to give us our current format we have today. This tournament is made up of the 32 teams that have won their conference tournament and have automatically qualified to play in the NCAA tournament leaving 36 spots for a select committee to come together and choose who gets those spots. And from 2013 to 2019, an average of 10.5 million viewers watched each college basketball game in the tournament. And it has generated in revenue close to $900 million each year. Just, uh, just the selection show revealing who is who are the teams that qualify for the tournament generates millions of viewers each year and has become a very large event. In conclusion, starting in 1939 with a very a small tournament, it has continued to grow and evolve over the years, making it a very interesting topic to study. And then, as it continued to expand, it's only gotten more popular and become a more fun event for everybody to watch, which has in turn led to more ge revenue generation and more interest in the public. And it's become a and the NCAA tournament has become one of the biggest events in America year after year and has become ingrained into the culture of America. And in conclusion, the NCAA tournament is an extremely large and important event in this country that not only generates revenue and interest for the NCAA and fans, it also is a major revenue driver in schools and conferences that need it. And the schools that qualify for the NCAA tournament get money and are able to use that revenue to improve the academics and other sports on campus there. Not only impacting the basketball programs in a positive way, but the entire campus as a whole. <sighs>